Hi everybody, Newdaf here with another episode of Dark Souls Science. This time, with the help of my trusty assistant Virtuosis, we're going to be exploring counter damage. Now, Epic Namebro, EWGF, and many others have already looked at counter damage before, but I haven't seen a comprehensive video showing what is and what isn't counter damage. And I know that there's some misconceptions and outdated information out there, so we're going to try and set the record straight. Here's the breakdown. There are two types of bonus damage. The first is counter damage, as referenced by the Leo Ring. It's dealt only if you attack an opponent with a thrust damage attack while they are in the middle of attacking or kicking. This is official counter damage, which is an extra 20% of the base damage that you do. Equipping the Leo Ring adds an additional 40% on top of that, for a grand total of a 68% boost. The other type, which you might mistake for counter damage, is extra damage taken if you are hit during various types of moving activities, specifically rolling or flipping, heaving while overburdened, sprinting, jumping, backstepping, and while guard broken. I'm going to call this instability damage since I don't think I've seen an official name for it. Instability damage doesn't depend on the attack type, that is, it doesn't have to be thrust damage. It's a 40% damage boost and is not affected by the Leo Ring. If you can't remember which is which, there's a simple mnemonic. If it's an action that involves R1, then it's subject to counter damage. If it's an activity that involves the B button, it's subject to instability damage. I'm going to start showing the video proof now, but afterwards I put a few exceptions that don't quite follow these rules. First, let's look at actual counter damage against another player. My buddy Virtuosis here is going to keep the same defense stats for the rest of the video, though you may see him strap on different weapons for extra weight. Likewise, I'm going to be mostly using my trusty, or should I say thrusty, Silver Knight Spear plus 4, which does all physical damage and uh, it's a thrust attack. Uh, its base damage is going to stay fixed at 158 damage. While he's attacking, I can hit him for a 20% counter boost at 190 damage. And with Leo Ring, uh, we get the additional 40% damage for 267 damage. Following my mnemonic that counter damage applies to actions that use R1, here we have me doing the 190 damage with counter boost while he's kicking, and of course 267 with the Leo Ring equipped. This also makes sense because some weapons have special kick animations that are also attacks. Most people already know this, but we wanted to demonstrate that bows and crossbows are considered thrust damage weapons and therefore get the benefits of the Leo Ring. So first we're going to see the, the base damage and then the counter damage and finally uh, the counter damage plus Leo Ring boost. One of the claims I made at the beginning is that counter damage is only applied if using a thrust attack. So here I am using my thrust damage halberd to do a base 428 damage to this poor hollow, followed by 514 damage with the counter damage boost. Compare that to using my slash damage scythe to do a base 476 damage to the same hollow, followed by uh, still about 476 during what is clearly a counter attack period. Note that I tried this with the scythe over and over with different attack timings, but I was never able to increase the damage past 477. Now to move on to instability damage. Compared to my 158 base damage against Virtuosis, you'll see me hit for 222, which is 40% more. I'll show you with and without Leo Ring, but in all cases, since it's not counter damage, it won't get a boost. It's uh, just being left in for documentation purposes.
for this back step test, we had him take off the wolf ring. Uh, with his armor set up, he's sitting at about 13 poise and is normally staggered by a single hit from my spear. So you'll see that we're nailing the hyper armor frames here, which result in instability damage. We didn't actually test with ninja, uh, ninja flip back step, but there's no reason to think that it would be any different. At the beginning, I also made the claim that instability damage works with more than just thrust attacks. Here we see an enraged hollow hitting me for 46 damage, and the same hollow hitting me with a slashing attack while I'm sprinting for 64 damage, which is the instability damage boost of 40%. At this point, we're done with all the regular cases for counter damage and instability damage. What remain are the ones that aren't clearly accounted for by either damage uh, boost type. For curiosity's sake, we wanted to know if counter or instability damage is applied while the target is in the middle of a crossbow animation or has a bow drawn. We weren't able to land any extra damage, even with some different attack timings. I think everybody already knew this in the back of their head, but here we're showing that stun locking doesn't give any extra damage. Uh, here we see it doing 158 twice for a total of 316 damage. Now here's an interesting case. There are a few weapons that can do a kick into R1 combo. Here we'll show that this doesn't give any extra damage boost. First we have this plain s -Dox base damage of 16, followed by a kick to R1 combo. I land the hit, but it's only for the same 16 damage, no bonus of any kind, and Leo Ring doesn't help either. And finally, this is the weirdest thing we discovered for this video. When we were trying to land instability damage on ninja flips, we discovered that, uh, we couldn't. Seriously, we tried it for a good long while, but we could only make two outcomes. Either I hit the iframes and he took no damage, or I landed the hit during what looked like the flipping animation, but he still only took base damage. Maybe it's a lag thing? I don't know, but for average PvP latency, the ninja flip seems to confer the extra benefit of not taking any instability damage. Wow, as if it weren't good enough already, huh guys? So, that's what we found about counter damage and instability damage. I hope that was some useful information. Now let's hope they don't just patch it and make it all obsolete, huh? Thanks for watching, and I hope I'll see you guys again soon.